Hello Leo. This is your X reading for the 7th through the 13th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for Leos today. So the Hierophant there. Some of you are just standing in your power. Standing up for what you believe. Not wavering from it for sure. Okay, feeling very confident. Gaining some balance and harmony in your life within yourself. You know, balancing out that um, your emotions with your actions and, you know, just trying to do things that make you feel good is what I'm getting here with the, um, the temperance. That is Sagittarius energy there. I'm looking on the bottom of your deck and seeing the Seven of Swords here. So maybe somebody, um, you know, did something that you you didn't like or either you guys are doing things now you know strictly for your benefit okay and, and just kind of like really kind of planning and strategizing to see you know you know how you can move forward to get rid of some of that conflict that you guys probably experienced before in the past um, I think you guys are conflicted around um, something that you're interested in I feel like from the past okay there's that magician again Something that you wanted to make happen. Trying to manifest something here. King of Wands still looking back at the past. King of Swords maybe being very aloof. Maybe some of you guys felt like um, you know there was not an equal give and take in a relationship. Whether it was on your part or whether it was on the other person's part that wasn't giving enough or doing enough. Not devoting enough time to the connection here. Okay. But right now you guys are just trying to like you know just, just get some happy going on right now. Mm hmm you guys are the magician so there's something that you're the initiator let's see what your ex has currently going on here very loving person very maybe very intuitive okay very forgiving person um i feel here there's a knight of cups doing things that they love Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Your person, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, individual. Um, there's something that they have invested their time in in the past that they're kind of reflecting on and, and saying to themselves, like, you know what? I'm still here. I'm still looking pretty. I'm still doing this. I'm still doing that. I'm still doing that and it hasn't beat me down it hasn't got the best of me you know they're feeling very confident right now I feel okay um, I feel like this is a very attractive person that you guys are dealing with here they're feeling very confident this is a committed queen as well um, she likes relationships she doesn't have to be in one but definitely you know likes commitment okay let's see how you guys view your ex here that four wands there mm. Wanting to be in a relationship, maybe. Willing to bear the burden, do whatever it takes to make it work out, possibly here. Okay. And then here you come with the strength card. <laughs> How you're viewing the relationship. I feel that um, you guys are really wanting to get back together. For a lot of you. Okay. Um, you you want to bring some, you know, some happiness back to this situation. To reconnect is what I'm getting here. Okay, you have two majors here, and so there, there's like a force that um, the devil energy is here. Okay, but you are, you are fighting that devil energy. Whatever, whatever it is that you do not like is the devil. Whatever it, it is that is like in in excess, that's the devil energy. Obsessiveness, possessiveness, um, codependency, drinking too much, eating too much. Um, going out too much, you know, being promiscuous or whatever, whatever the devil energy is for you. Okay. You guys are fighting that you are facing it head on. And it's like, you know, right now it's like, no, I'm not allowing any of that shit in. And, um, I'm going to get some balance, some harmony in my life. And I feel like that's the same way you feel about this relationship. Okay. 
that's how you feel about them as well. You feel like they're strong, they're forgiving, they are they they try to make everything, you know, right. This person probably is one that assumes, you know, responsibility for their actions, okay? Either this is you or them. But this is how you guys are feeling about them, that they are strong, that they bring harmony to situations. They like to work things out, okay? They are forgiving, that sort of thing. Let's see what your ex's perception of you is, the King of Pentacles. Now we have a couple here, all right? I like it. <laughs> I know you guys are exes, but hey. It is what it is. They may feel that you're regretful about some things. Um, I don't know if you guys have something to feel regretful about, but they feel like there's a decision to be made, and I feel like they are in the process of judging you as well. You know, let's see what their perception is of you. The Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Maybe they feel like you guys are involved with someone else that you're, you know, giving your time to someone else. Your Taurus energy, um, feeling like maybe you're taking care of your kids, or you know, you know, you just spending time with other people. Okay, sharing your energy with other people. Let's see how you guys feel about getting back together. How does Leo feel about getting back together with their ex? Hmm. There's some things to talk about for sure. Definitely something to talk about. Whatever went wrong here. But I do feel like a lot of you want to take a leap of faith to be in areas that you guys are dealing with <clears throat> or thinking about. Three of Pentacles. I think you're definitely willing. I think you're willing to compromise, work with this person. Um, some of you may actually feel like you guys need some counseling to kind of assist you, get some outside help. But I, I think you're definitely willing um, to get back together and work this out. Okay? Then as I divide their deck, they have the King of Pentacles there. Okay? So let's see what their feelings are about getting back together. Hmm. Judgment. Hmm. I think that there is definitely, um, you know, it would be on the table. You know, they would think about it. It would be something that they, you know, could definitely look at is what I'm getting here. But I think it all depends on, um, because you guys are the magician, the initiator. So I feel like it depends on what you guys are bringing, what you're offering, what you're actually putting on the table. You know, they will decide then. It's what I'm getting from this, okay? Scorpio energy there. Let's see how you guys can help bring this connection back together. How can Leo help bring this connection back together? Hmm. There's something that you need to end if you guys are in a three-party relationship here. Um, if you have someone else that's in the picture that you're spending time with, it's time to end that. It's time to change some things. Okay? It's time to transform some energy. Transform some thoughts, some actions. Okay? Change some things here. Whatever that means for you guys, you know what that means, okay? So let's see how can they increase the chances of you guys getting back together. How can they increase the chances of you guys getting back together here? The moon. To see things clearly. See things for what they are. Um, for the way they are. And, and maybe like, you know, divulge like how they're really feeling. Be transparent. Be honest. Show their emotions. Show their feelings here. Okay? Because I think this person probably tries to put on a hard exterior here with the Queen of Pentacles. Like, eh, I'm good. I'm not phased. That sort of, you know, reaction. Let's see what is a possible outcome for Leo and their ex. What is a possible outcome here? Two of Wands. It remains to be seen. <laughs> It remains to be seen because, again, I get you guys are the initiator here. Um, I feel like this person is the deciding factor, but I feel like, you know, it just remains to be seen, okay? But I get that you guys know, you know, you're at a crossroads right now for this week. But I, I think, you know, there will definitely be um, some action being taken here 
coming up in the near future on one or both of your parts here um, we have Aries Capricorn Scorpio energy um, cancers here Sagittarius Taurus and um, you know maybe Virgo is here as well all right guys so that's what I have for you and I will be speaking with you soon